Hey there, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We got a great Ask a Ninja from Kevin in Vermilion, Ohio. He's getting ready to have his crawl space encapsulated up in Northeast Ohio, and he's concerned about frozen pipes. He says, I'm more concerned about frozen pipes than the gas bill. With that in mind, am I better off with an R10 insulation on the block walls and not insulating the subfloor? Basically, what happens is when you encapsulate the crawl space, a lot of times the subfloor insulation is removed due to mold and different things like that. So let's get into what I recommend as far as insulation with a crawl space. But before I do, I want to make sure that you all have access to our resources that we have available on crawlspaceninja.com. You can go to the about page, the location pages. If you need to check out our home improvement blog, it's got a lot of great information there. Of course, you can also do a consultation with either AJ or myself if you need extra help with your crawl space. So what I wanna show you right here, Kevin, is this is just a visual of what I suspect your crawl space looks like. You've got heating and air ducts down there. You've got insulation in the subfloor. What we have found here in East Tennessee, and granted, you may be a little bit more cold in Northeast Ohio, but we have found across the country, even in the Midwest and the really cold areas, if you will insulate the foundation wall, typically the subfloor insulation becomes irrelevant in most cases. Now, if you have super cold winters, then having subfloor insulation could be an added benefit. But that being said, as I mentioned during the opening, most of the time when we go into a crawl space, it's full of moisture and mold. So we remove the subfloor insulation in order to address the mold. And there isn't really a good return on the investment as far as we're concerned of putting the subfloor insulation back whenever you insulate the foundation wall. As you can see, we have sealed the vents of this crawl space, preparing it for encapsulation. And in this particular home, the subfloor insulation was not removed. It was actually kept in place because they didn't have any mold in the crawl space. So that's what I wanted to let you know, Kevin. If you already have subfloor insulation and there's no reason to remove it, then just leave it in place. I feel like that is the best option in addition to the foundation wall insulation. Now, all that being said, if you've got the vents sealed off, and you've got foundation wall insulation, then your likelihood of having frozen pipes is very low, okay? Even with the vent sealed, uh, they're keeping that really cold air from entering into the crawl space. So make sure that whoever's encapsulating the crawl space is doing it as we showed here. They're not just blocking off the vents, but they are going to actually air seal around those vents to keep the cold air out and use a foam board and R10 minimum in order to do that so you have the added benefit of insulation in the foundation vents. And then of course, in this picture here, by the way, this video is crawl space insulation vapor barrier. We have pretty much exclusively in just about all of our locations gone to the insul barrier because it's just a an easier installation. It, it performs just as well as foam board. It's less messy. For example, this is a, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, block tall wall and each of those are eight inches so that's 72 inches and imagine trying to do foam board of 72 inches of tall wall whenever your door is you know three by three so you got to cut it down to get it in there but with the insole barrier it's a lot easier just to roll it out and we snap it across the top and then it's only four foot tall so then we have to on this particular wall we have to do another layer underneath and then let it drape down on the floor and of course Kevin, if you want your contractor to use Insul Barrier, they can get that on the DIY store. But if you're gonna do this yourself, you get free shipping on our DIY store with our Ninja Dry Pro 70, which is a fantastic dehumidifier. We've got, of course, the April Air dehumidifiers, the Hydraway and the Insul Barrier, all the, everything you need, Kevin, 
if you decided you want to do this yourself or if you're a contractor watching this and you want to be a part of the Crawl Space Ninja products and services we're using. But back to this, what I would recommend you do is just like we're doing here, air seal all the vents, leave the insulation in the subfloor if you don't have to remove it, and then put that R10 foam board or whatever that insulation is on the foundation wall. You should be good to go. And you know the, the added benefit is you're gonna keep the pipes from freezing, but you should also notice a more energy efficient home, especially if you air seal those rim joists. I recommend you do that as well. I'm Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. Appreciate you watching this video. I hope you put a like down below and we hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.